Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Bailey, and today we're gonna to be talking about the recorder. Now I know some of you have been practicing at home and some of you are just a little bit tired of it, but I promise today's lesson's a little different because today, instead of learning to play something on the recorder, we're going to learn about the different recorders in the recorder family. So the instrument you've been playing and learning with me is called a soprano recorder. But did you know there are other instruments in the recorder family? The first instrument I'm going to show you is called the alto. And the alto is much larger than the soprano, isn't it? Do you suppose, is the alto going to play lower or higher than my soprano? If you said lower, you are correct. In fact, if I were to play a D on my recorder, it would actually sound like this on the alto. Hmm, did those two Ds sound the same, even though I'm pressing the same fingerings? No, they did not. Listen to the recorder, the alto recorder. Now, although I'm using all the same fingerings on the alto recorder, what I call a D here is not the same that we call it on an alto. So you learn fingerings with different names, and that's one of the reasons I don't teach it alongside the soprano, because for some kids, just learning soprano is enough. Besides the alto recorder, there is also a tenor recorder. Oh my goodness, I can't even get it in the whole thing. How cool is that? So again, looking at these two instruments, which one do you think is gonna play lower? If you said the tenor, you are correct. Now I'll tell you, the tenor uses the same fingerings as soprano, it's just an octave lower. And if you were looking at a piano, that would be eight keys down from the note that you played. So here's the sound of the tenor. Now, did anybody notice something different about the tenor recorder from the soprano and the alto? If you said the recorder has keys, you are correct. The, the holes across the recorder are so spread out that in order to play the pinky, they had to add keys because you couldn't stretch all the way down there to get that one key. So the larger the instrument, the more spread, the, more spread out the keys are as well. So this is my tenor recorder. Do you think there's one more? If you said yes, you're correct. This is called the bass recorder. And the bass recorder, again, is so big, I can't even get it all in one picture. So here's my bass, here's my tenor. Which one do you think is gonna play lower? You got it, if you said the bass, you are correct. Now the bass looks really different than any of the other recorders. One of the things you're gonna notice right away are there are keys on it. Again, because those holes are so spread out, the keys help me cover the holes. So instead of having to spread my fingers way out, I can just press on the keys to get that one hole covered. And you can see down here, same thing with my, uh, with my right hand and keys for the pinky. Did you also notice that this one has something sticking out of it? That's called a bocal. And a bocal is where I'm going to blow into the instrument. It doesn't have the same mouthpiece like the other ones. So here is the sound of the bass recorder.
that was tough playing. Now, I've shown you all the instruments that are below the soprano recorder, but do you know that there are instruments above the soprano recorder as well? So I'm going back to my soprano to show it to you. Here's the one that you're learning to play. Here is one of the instruments that's above it. This is called a sopranino. And again, the sopranino, do you think it'll play lower or higher? Hmm, well this one is smaller, so this one is gonna play higher in pitch. Let's listen to the sopranino. about that squeak at the end. Now, if you can believe it, there's one that's even smaller than this, but I don't have it in my collection. I'll have to get one at some point and add it into our collection so I can show it to you, but it's about this big, so much smaller. So those are this, the different instruments within the recorder family, and I'm gonna link some videos so you can hear some recorder consorts. That's what we call a recorder ensemble playing all of their different instruments. You can hear what those different recorders sound like when they're all playing together. Thanks for watching my video, boys and girls. See you. Bye-bye.